What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Michael Thursday. So there it is. The biggest Mac truck around here. So let's take a look, see what he's got. Come on. Lovely weather again. Caught you back here working today. Straightening up a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's not got to be a mess in here again. Man, you displaying them magnetic trays, ain't you? It's a bunch of trays. It's pretty awesome. Stick through the cardboard box. And go down the road. <laughs> That's right. I know I bought that one from you, and man, I love that joker. I like that a lot. What was the sale on those? That was seven pieces, wasn't it? Seven pieces, hundred bucks. Woo. What was it, two fours, and then the two rectangles here? You get one of your fours, one of your threes, Two ones, two twos, and the nut cup. Man, that nut cup, it looks funny like the way it sits. It looks like it's squished down on uh -huh. it. I can and, see uh, how it would. I mean, perfect for a lift or under the yeah. hood. Just throw your, throw your Tunk them in there. bolts in there and it catches them. You don't have I was to thinking about flat. like an under hood, you know, cart, table, tray, whatever you mm -hmm. want to call it. Man, that would be nice. And you know if it would stick through that cardboard box, it'd stick on that tray through that little thin rubber mat. And usually you're never going to get a magnetic bowl or tray or anything less than $10 a magnet. Oh know? yeah, yeah. That's 14 magnets. That's a good deal on there. So. Oh, you got the little car set too. Yeah, I got it in. You know, it's funny, uh, we just talked about that like two weeks before they come out with that new yeah. flyer and then had it in there. And, uh, if anybody wants to that thing do is a little freaking cool right there. Christmas shopping early. That's a lot better than the ones we had as a kid, you know. Man, yeah. But it looks like it's still got the you know the little prong mm -hmm. that sticks out of the bottom of the cars, you know, to yeah. zip them around there. That's pretty cool. There's the part number. Somebody needs to buy that for their little boy. He'll remember that just like you know, here it is like 35 years later, 38 years later, and I'm still remembering the one my dad got me. Mm -hmm. That thing was, that was a lot of fun back in the day. And, uh, but you know, kids don't really play with toys like they used to. It's all video games, computer games, telephone games. Throw them a tablet, sad. keep them entertained. No baseball, no football no more. That's sad. Because that right there builds imagination. And, I mean, you know, that teaches them how to put stuff together and work on stuff. Because you going to break that thing. It's oh, yeah. going, the car's going to slide off. It's going to hit the guardrail and it's going to jump out. And you're going to have to learn how to put it back together. So, they, hmm. uh, maybe our kids' generation will fix that and see the problem. But I doubt it. And uh, you don't go to a restaurant anymore and not see them just sitting over there just, mm -mm. you know. You know, used to, they'd have like a couple of restaurants. I know Shoney's did it and maybe Danvers and some of the others. They had the crayons. You know, you get the crayons mm -hmm. and you color while you wait. Now the kids has got all these games and stuff. Well, know, that's like some games. restaurants, they have a little tablet on the table. You yeah. can buy the games for them to play, you yeah. know, but it, uh... I know we went to um, Buffalo Wild Wings last night, or not before last. There was a mom and dad there and they had four kids. All four kids, I'm talking about from like probably 12 down to maybe, now that girl was probably, she was maybe 15, down to seven, six five all four of them was sitting there on their phone mom was on her phone and dad was on his phone i'm like 
man, that's the way to do it. Like, let's let's all go out and eat together, spend some quality time, and, and spend never our, carry spend on our time on our, on our phone, you know. But that's the world we live in, you know. It is. Um, yeah. I know our my father in law. We we all went out to eat, and um, back before he he got sick and passed away, we all went out to a restaurant, and uh, my stepdaughter was on her phone, and that's a no no. Like when you sit down to eat, it's family time. No phones at the table. Oh, it like to killed her to have to put that <laughs> phone up for twenty minutes while we yeah. eat, you know. But that was important to him, you know. Mm -hmm. And he's a very good man. Had a real good heart, a hell of a mechanic, you know. And he had a lot of that hardcore family value to him, you know. And, mm -hmm. and that's kind of a thing in the past now. So. Yeah. I uh, we used to go eat with a group of friends pretty regularly. And uh, one thing we did was everybody had to put their phone on stack in the middle of the table. Oh, the hey. first one that answered their phone or got their phone out. Until we were all done, picked up the tab. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. Man, so, man, it, uh, that. I could win that battle easy. Like, easy. Because if I'm busy working on something, even the shop phone, I won't answer it. I don't care. Yeah. Like, if it's that important, you can come see me. I mean, I'm two places. Work or home. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So. And, uh. But the, 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 that was there for a while. We all went out to eat because somebody made a comment one day. Said, "You know, here we are. We all go out to eat." But I said, "They said, but we stay on our phones looking at them all the time." And so the next time we all went out, and they said, that, "Let's let's do this," you yeah. know, and it uh, it made it fun, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's true. It made it fun. Well, that's um, a good deal they got on the magnetic trays for sure. But I got the sail hammer. Look at you being all. Display oriented this week. Everything well, out. Or... Now I know this was a heck of a sale. I don't remember what the price was on this hammer set, but I remember it was. I'd have a, to look at the flyer. It was. It was a good deal on that. One forty, one thirty, maybe better than that. I think I actually got a flyer right here. Yep, there it is. Um. I don't remember off the top of my head. That's the way to do it. Just leave them flyers sort of sporadically you got to. scattered around. 135 You saves you 30, $34 off right now. Is it a four-piece set? Four-piece set. You get the 8-ounce, 12-ounce, 16-ounce, and 24. If y'all want any size reference, I don't know if you hadn't seen them in person before. That's the 24, and that is the 8. That's had a little bitty fella in it. Mm-hmm. Well, um, they feel good too. Now these are the ones that's got the tuning forks. Mm-hmm. The anti-vibe handles, anti-vibe handles on them. Huh. That's a good feeling hammer, like it's balanced well. Mm-hmm. Sure enough. So one thirty-five will get you. What was the sizes again? Eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty-four. That's a good. Good variety of them. Yep, yep. And it comes with a blow mold case. After you open your drawer, look at it. Oh, well, where's that one at? You know? Oh, yeah. That's always a good thing. For sure. So. Man, I can't believe you still got some of those jacks and jack stands down there. Yeah. That was a good deal on those. It was The jack stands were free, wasn't they? They were. They were. A good deal on it's one of those things, you know, it's not every shop you pull up to that somebody just needs a jack, you know, mm -hmm. but when they need a jack, they need it and they need it that day. Yep. You know, That's so. True. And I, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of debate that goes around whether it's worth it to buy a tool truck jack or, or not, you know, and I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence with that too. You know, I've, I bought them. Everybody talked about how great the Harbor Freight Jacks were. And and when I bought my jacks, I was like, man, I'm not buying a Harbor Freight Jack. I went to Napa and bought the Napa Jacks, you know. And then I bought the newest jack that I got. It's the Carlisle Jack, uh, the extra low profile. Mm -hmm. Love it. Well, I wanted to add a four to him. And everybody kept talking about these Daytona Jacks, Daytona Jacks. So I went to Harbor Freight and I bought one. and. 
I ain't got no complaints. It's a good jack. Like it's a four ton, and we picked up the front corner of a you know a big truck with it. Mm -hmm. Of course, now that's just me personally. I'm not as trustworthy of it <laughs> as I am the rest of them. Which we always use a jack stand, right? But a lot of times. I catch myself with the name brand jacks. I would jack it up, then put the jack stand under it. And with that one, I kind of, I kind of go as I go with it, you know. And I shouldn't be that way because it's never let me down. But right. there's always that, that fear, you know, because right. of the Harbor Freight jack stand issue that they had, you know. And you got to wonder, like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Did the same company weld anything in these jacks, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but now it hasn't let me down. But Which, what, what was that deal? It was, something they with the spot welds welded on. something instead of putting a full weld on it, wasn't it? Or something like that? I can't remember, but what... I know I, I read the article. It seemed like something but... stands out where like you could release the lever with it under pressure. And, um, you know, it showed the guy hitting it with a tool like... I just, I'm not a hundred percent sold that that's what it is because you know as well as I do, if you've got a car sitting on something, you've got to kind of pick up the weight of that jack stand, whatever it's holding to get that lever to release. And I don't know about you, but I've never hung my ratchet hard enough to pick up 2000 pounds, you know, or, or let's just say it's a quarter of that 5,000 pounds or 500 pounds. I, I'm not that much of a man. You know, and I'll be the first. I can hold my own, but uh, <laughs> I'm not that strong. Don't think but, I can do that. But there was some reason, you know. So, hey, whatever. But, but it's definitely kind of put a black cloud over them with, you know, their their stuff. But you know, Bill had the uh, the Matco Jack, and it was a really, really good, and it was an old, old Jack, and that thing was still. You know, and I, you could tell that there, there's a difference in quality. It is, it know. is. I mean, it's just whether a guy can afford to spend the difference in money. Right. But like with the deal y'all have where you get the jack stands free, mm -hmm. I mean, you got to have jack stands if you're adding a jack. So, yep. you know, you're looking at at least 150 bucks for the jack stands. Right. So you take that off the price of the jack. Then you look at the two jacks side by side and there's only like a hundred dollars difference, you know, so. For a good name brand jack. Exactly. Good quality jack. True. And then if it screws up, I can fuss at you about it. And you don't have to load you, it in your truck and take it back somewhere to, and all that. How to get it fixed. But, yeah. It has its advantages for sure, mm -hmm. so. You know, a lot of people criticize because I, you know, I always try to buy off the tool trucks versus, you know, a store. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's your business you know your the way you make a living and if people didn't come to me because i was a small business i wouldn't be able to make a living so you know you got to kind of look at the grand scheme of things too mm -hmm. and you know i think a lot of people forget about how nice it is to to buy a big ticket item you know like if a guy wanted to spend you know six hundred dollars on you know the impacts or or whatever that you know to pay that low weekly payment that's it you know, the sting is not there when it's, you know, fifty, sixty dollars a week versus, you know, six hundred dollars a right. time. So that's that's worth a lot. Especially zero percent. Like you you can't beat zero yeah. percent. Unless you put it on a credit card and get cash back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Yeah. Well, looks but like you got her stocked up good and got a lot more on its way in, now. but gotta make a few more holes first. Mm-hmm. You just put some stuff on clearance, you know? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Y'all do have really good sales, though. I have to say, out of all the tool trucks, y'all's flyers are probably the best as far as saving money and getting free tools. And mm -hmm. The BOGO stuff is, I mean. So how does that work? I noticed in that one, they had the, the trade-in, like, for the power tools. You know, it was like $150 off. Right. So, like, I've got an old DeWalt 18-volt drill. Like, if I bring it in here. The way I understand it is you got to bring in a set. Like, if you want if you want to trade in on a set, you got to bring mm -hmm. in a set. You know, like a battery and a charger, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that's cool. I mean, but, 150 bucks for something you're not going to use anyway. You know, like yeah. mine, the batteries are. They're pretty weak, you know, you're not gonna do much with them. And 
the drill itself is pretty wore out. Mm -hmm. So something like that would like you couldn't put it on Craigslist and get nowhere close to 150. Feet, right. So that would be an advantage of that. Oh well, well, I guess we're gonna get back in here. All righty. Get after it. Pay my bill, get you paid down a little bit, cause I got a list of stuff that I'm wanting to to add, especially with this deals that y'all got. I'm kind of waiting on the wrench set. That's my biggest. It's coming. That's my biggest want right now is the the metrics to go with this. A little stuff. bit longer, it's coming. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If y'all need anything, y'all can contact Michael via Instagram. Michael Boone underscore 89, I think what it was. Or if you follow me on Instagram, go to some of the Mac posts and he's tagged on those. So. Yeah. All right, guys, like always, thanks for watching. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, discount codes, and all that. And click that subscribe button right there if you're not subscribed. It's free. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.